Time to go sprinting again on the UAE tour with stage four, destination the Dubai Harbour. Well, the sprinters had had not too much fun on the opening day with the crosswinds and many fast men caught out by the splits. Tim Belier had taken that one in a photo up against Caleb Ewan. This is a familiar feel to it then, very much so. In fact, when we've played with the palm, a famous architectural feature in this part of the world in the past, well, seven of those who are taking part today found themselves on the podium. So a sprint roster to die for, I think you might say. Alex Boudin of AG2R Citroen was in the break, which formed in the very first kilometre, and two from Bardiani, Tonelli and Zaccarati. No nerves at all throughout the pack. They were going to save that all for the final turn, which unwound with 750 metres to go. But with open highways here, that can bring its own dangers. Important then to start making a statement if you've missed out already. As of course, Sam Bennett did, caught behind the split on the opening day. Time to make amends then. Well, we headed towards the Palm and the famous Atlantis Hotel, which had been the destination for us on many occasions. But that wasn't to be our finish line today. Cutting back through the tunnel and indeed heading to Dubai Harbour, the marina. Any expensive vessels there and a costly day potentially for some. With the peloton mobbed so tightly together we were fearing a touch of wheels at any moment. And indeed there was no real approach pace until very very late on. Everyone wanted to keep themselves fresh for the big kick at the very end. Inevitably our breakaway was caught and then it was a dash for that final right hander that would be oh so important to master. Left hand side of the roads, premium real estate opening up on the right, others trying to make amends and come round and into position. Bora just harried and hassled by riders going backwards, team DSM were looking very handy for Sam Wellsford. And then after the turn, those in a decent position, well could they take advantage. Gaviria set off early, no lead outs at his disposal for Movistar, he decided he was going to do it on his own. Plenty of others were in the frame as well and it came down to a real dash upon the barriers and he'd spread across the entire pitch of the road. On Gaviria's wheel, Wellsford tucked in, Merlier was in the frame as well, Olaf Koy for Jumbo Visma looked like he might have it on the throw but steaming up on the barriers was Milano. Another photo finish, can you believe it? Took a while for the result to be confirmed, but in the end, UAE had it. Juan Sebastian Milano, victorious. A surprise result and a welcome one to UAE Team Emirates, of course, the home team in this race. Well, as they found out across the road, the photo required to decide the top five. Absolutely remarkable finale. Wellsford got very close. Coy, likewise, Gronewegen in the frame, but the winner was Milano. Some very big sprinting names absent from this top 10. They'll be hoping to make amends tomorrow. Leading overall, Ramco Evenepoel, who was not at the disposal of Tim Malia today, keeping things safe, making sure he stays in red deeper into this race and maybe all the way to the title. He leads Platt by seven seconds overall. Yet more sprinting still to come. Tomorrow, 170 kilometers. Umm al Quwain is our destination. Almost flatter than today, but the action will be at its hottest once again. The UAE Tour, magnificent. And with the roster of sprinters that we have here, well, a delight to watch as well.